And we're back. And we've got a special guest, Mr. Risky Cruz, as well, in the shadows, since he's not hey, feeling hey. well. My buddy, Shrimply. Say hi, Shrimply. Hi. See, I told you he was here. I wasn't lying. I'm always here. We got it. Hot. <laughs> it was hot. We got a, we got a sick hot. request from it. Jess, who's a legend of the chat. We're going to check out um, a Nocturnal Bloodlust song called Dagger. And I think it's going to be fucking tense. Let's fucking be go. a meaty boy. I know that. You're a meaty boy. Let's fucking go. Oh. Let's do it. All right. So, yeah, Risky, you don't know what you're in for. Um, mm -hmm. if I, had to, I don't even know who to compare it to. It's, it can be really heavy. Okay. It's got cool say, metal core, but like heavy and cool. And I awesome. would I would say it's like if Slayer had more skill. Ooh, that's pretty uh Okay. All right. The expedition. In my, in my professional opinion, fuck Slayer. <laughs> 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 I will die on this hill. <laughs> I like Slayer. Alone. I like Slayer for the uh they're an important Ooh. they're important. That's at the actually time. that's better. Suicide silence but on cocaine. That is that is actually better. <laughs> Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Let's get to do it. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, I don't know if I told you this, Risky. Mm. Are you watching my stream on Discord? Yes. Okay. That's the best way to have, like, no uh, delay and shit. Like delay. That. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching you. <clears throat> All right, let's fire it up. Okay. Let's just start <laughs> with noise. Sounds heavier than I remember. Infinite Annihilator vibes. Yeah. I don't remember it being so death gory. Chelsea Grin vibes, though. All right, I'm heading to pause real quick because I know there's a breakdown mm. coming at some point. I don't want to. Pause mm. during that. I didn't expect that. I didn't either. <laughs> Actually, I didn't expect that. And I've heard of the only one of the three of us that listens to their music. I just haven't heard their newer stuff, like the newer album. I is this old? I get hard. No, oh, no, this, this is, is new. new. I their older stuff seemed less deathcore and more towards metalcore. Am I mm. yeah correct in that? Yeah, hundred percent. Like they were much more that they've been every album. They've gotten more and more deathcorey. Okay. I was getting heavy Chelsea Grin vibes. Yeah, like Chelsea Grin Suicide Silence. Like, dude, that's pretty much where they're where they're at now. I not like the it. not the new singer of Chelsea Grin, but the old one. Um it just which is the reverse trends of band. Exactly. Yeah, Usually yeah, they start right. deathcore and, and then they end up, up as fucking uh, bring me the horizon. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with their newer stuff, but fuck is it just a diametric opposite of what they used to be? Yeah. Oh my, oh my there, god. There's just so many like pieces to this. This is intense. And, like just mashed in together, it still sounds like really good. 
This yeah. is a, a, a jigsaw puzzle with a bunch of different pieces from other puzzles that somehow fucking fit together. Uh, yeah, like, I, I have no idea how long it took to, like, make this. Like, like, who's just, like, talented enough to just go in and be like, hey, we're going to throw in, like, fucking all this shit and just trust me to work out. Yeah. It's I nuts. think what it is, though, is, like, it sounds difficult, but, like, if this is what you do, like, the, it's like, yeah. as a language, you, it, it, you just understand it because you live it. Yeah. You know? mm. So it probably seems, like, hard. I don't think it's not, like, a lot of work, but... Yeah. As complex as it sounds, they understand it fully, so... Yeah, and being able to, like, keep, like, that tempo, too. Oh, yeah. Well, of course, in a studio setting, too, they're doing a lot of takes and stuff, but... Yeah. I mean, they do end up playing it live and and stuff, but, they you know, they rehearse and all that. But, yeah, that's insane. I didn't expect the heaviness. I'm I'm kind of... I'm scared for a breakdown now. Jess said it's a contender for breakdown of the year, so... And she says it's the most basic song on their album. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. God. All right. But she's saying that they're fully orchestrated, so that just means there's probably more to it. Like, this is just straight band versus all of the extra nuance and craziness, especially that J-Metal's known for. Mm, yeah, that's true. We're a four-person band, but let's get 20 other people involved for no reason. <laughs> that sounds dope. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Do it! Even that crash symbol sounds very Chelsea. I'm getting so much Chelsea Grin vibe from this. Bonus points for solos, no matter how short. Did you guys hear like in the background there's like a very faint like cultish like orchestral chant? I didn't catch that, no. You didn't catch it? Let me let me turn my right. let me turn that up. Let me back it up. I'll, I'll back it up a few there's seconds. So much going on. <laughs> I'll back it up a few seconds. Just listen carefully to this part that I'm gonna play. And like you can hear a guy like uh I don't know what it's called, but yeah, just think of like people in robes and like black and white film and like people wearing plague masks and shit. Alright. There's a lot to what you just said. You know, like that demonic <laughs> chanting, like, oh, oh, no, oh, oh I get oh. it. It's just vivid. <laughs> Slow in the mix. Did you catch it? I think I caught it a little bit. Not. It's very low. Your ears are better than mine. Take my soul out of my ass. Okay. Damn. Oh my god. As far as like nocturnal bloodlust goes, and someone who actually listens to them from time to time, like it's one of those things. Like I have to like really be in the mood for it, but when I am, it's it's like it can only be satiated by music like that. The shit yeah. fucks. Yeah, it don't definitely fuck. Raw, dry. Wow, that shit fucks. <laughs> oh, Chris, have you not been here before for the dumb shit that I say? That's my stamp of approval. This shit oh. fucks. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it did. It did. If I had to describe it, yeah, it fucked. Yeah. That's like why I like, had it and it fucked. It didn't make love. It definitely fucked. Dude. It does not make love at all. This thing only fucks. That's funny. <laughs> Holy shit. Good request, That's Jess. That was insane. Uh, so that was. It's crazy to me how like you can just like frag on on a just like a heavy metal song like that. Like like I feel like you can't really like find that like many other places where like everyone can just snap. You know, everyone can all like have their moment and just be absolutely disgusting for four minutes straight. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's one of the reasons I like metal the most is like, I feel like metal, I know there's other, I'm not going to say like nothing else does this, but like, I feel mm. like metal the most encapsulates like all the different parts of music and people yeah. just won't get into it because it's brutal. You yeah. Know what I mean? but yeah. For they take it like kind of like face value. Yeah. And like, oh, what is this? You know? Yeah. Well, they just don't, it's just not pleasant to them, which is fine. Like I get, but like if yeah. they were to get beyond that like the yeah. the talent the composition skill the uh sometimes the storytelling sometimes the encapsulation of like yeah, multiple genres that they mm. that they use like in within it like some of it's very classical some of it has like jazz influence like mm. some metal drummers are like the to. most talented fucks in the world aside from like insane jazz musicians like oh yeah um but yeah, it's insane. Any other final thoughts, Shrimp Dog? Uh, well, sorry, I had a phone call. Was that? <laughs> no, I shouldn't know if you had any final thoughts for the, for this one. Um, no, nah, dude, that was fucking just brutal from head to toe, man. Head to fucking long toe. Yeah, that was like good. That shit. I enjoyed, like, why the fucking? Well, I mean, what? <laughs> if you don't trim your toenails, you gotta get right to the end. No, just. It didn't. That didn't need more depth. No, it didn't need. I think it deserved all the depth. No, no. I have zero idea what they said the entire time, but I liked it. I don't either. <laughs> the problem is, is I do know that sometimes they bounce between English and Japanese, so it's it's hard oh, yeah. to keep up. Do they really, dude? Oh my. Yeah. Sometimes. Dude, Japanese yeah. He's a he's a really absolutely disgusting. Yeah, dude. He's an insane vocalist. The fact that he just it was English. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. All I heard was Satan attempting to speak to me through the veil. Yeah. For most metal, I don't, I don't get into the lyrics till later. If I like the sound of the voice, I consider it an instrument. And then if I really like a song, I'll learn the vocals or the lyric later. Yeah. But, which kind of, I don't say it sucks, but like, it's more important to be a good vocalist than a good lyricist. If you want people yeah. to care about your lyrics in metal, be a good vocalist first. And then... That makes sense. All right, so that's going to do it for that one. That was Nocturnal Bloodlust. Dagger. Brutality. Head to toe. All right, Trimply? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and uh, we're going to move on. Thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Do that. Do all that good stuff. You know, really. Hit the fucking bell thing. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. That's right. Ring-a-ding-ding. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, everyone, keep it tight. Fat titties. <laughs>